I thought you were going to say something. I'm tongue-tied. That never happens. <laughs> on camera, it does. Only on camera. It's like my brain stops working. It's so funny because viewers think I do all the talking in this relationship. We only do that on camera because she gets tongue-tied. When the camera goes off, 99%. Can't get me to shut up. <laughs> Happy auction day, everyone. What the hells are we doing today, George? Well, we're definitely at an auction. We are, and we are at a brand new facility here. What the hells are we doing today, George? We, shockingly, we are at an auction. Whoa! That was the O face. Uh, we've got four units at this location. We've never been to this location before in Canada. New Ohio. location, new auctioneer. New auctioneer. So Whipple Auction and Realty. And we'll give you a close-up of their card here in a little bit. But um, definitely check them out. This is going to be a ton of fun. And we're hoping to get a good unit. And he's dressed really sharp. Yeah. I've never seen an auctioneer dressed to the T for an auction. He so Matthew number 62, wish us luck. Here we go. Now the terms of the auction are cash or a MasterCard Visa credit card with the proper ID. Uh, the credit card users pay a 5% buyer's premium. Uh, people that pay by cash do not pay a buyer's premium. The auctioneer reserves the right to settle all disputes of which I hope there are none. All sells to the high bidders as is, where is, no guarantees and no returns please as there will be no one here to return them to. Uh, my auctioneers today, my brothers Jim, uh, Tom and Scott, my son John, our clerk and cashier in the office is Joanne, uh, to whom you'll pay your, uh, your bill before removing the items from the property. Now we do have, they would like to have the merchandise, the owners of the mini uh, storage would like to have the uh, merchandise removed today, would be uh, removed today. So if that would be at all possible, if you need to make any other arrangements, you either need to see, well, you need to see Dale. Dale, the man over there with the sunglasses. Dale waving right there, you see Dale. Uh, there is a $25 uh, buyer's premium on each unit here today. We also have a $50 cleaning uh, deposit, uh, which you will get back once the unit is cleaned out. Uh, you will uh, leave the unit uh, today clean. You'll get your $50 back. If you don't leave it clean, then you don't get your $50 back. That's the way that works. Are there any questions? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have four units today. Uh, so we're going to go in. We're going to take off the lock. Uh, we're going to open the door, give you a couple of minutes to look around. Uh, you, you can't go through any boxes. You can't go inside. Uh, it's a cash only sale, so cash or MasterCard, Visa, credit card. Uh, are there any questions? If not, we're gonna start with uh, unit number 35. Unit number 35, Dale's gonna lead the way. Since there's only four units today, let's practice our profiling and we'll guess higher or lower. I'll flash a number right before the unit gets sold and then you guess, did it sell for higher than that or lower than that? And we're gonna really hone in on our profiling skills while George drives us to the next auction. How's that going, George? Hey, y'all. I'm gonna try not to get us into an accident. And she's not gonna get hangry today. I need my extra set of eyes while I'm on the road. The first one's completely jammed. That's a good sign. Garbage cans, Never know what's in it's a totes, five by folks. five, totes, see the dust, see the cobwebs, and see if we can find any writing, which I can't, I see some clothing, I like the cobwebs, totes my goats. The reason why we like dust, cobwebs, thick dirt in units, because it gives the sign that it was undisturbed. Whenever you store things in your junk drawer, in your basement, everybody goes back through those things, right? But when in a storage unit and there's a ton of cobwebs and there's a ton of dirt and a ton of dust, you know nobody went through it. It was set in there and whatever was put in there stayed in there. That's why it's such a good sign, because if something valuable was put in there, it's still there.
I got 20, 30. I'm at 20, 30, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 50, 50, 50, 50, and above the ground. You want to win 60, now 60, now 70, back here, now 80, now 90, now 90, now 90, 100, now 10, 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30, 30, 40, 40, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 75, 75, 200, two and a quarter, two and a quarter. I'm at 200 here, but I'm able to get two and a dime, two and a dime. I just bailed out at 200. 220, 220, 220, 220, 30. He said no, 210, 220. I'm at 210, I'm at 220. I'm at 220, 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 I'm at 220,
profiling your units, make sure to look for signs of pets. Now, we love pets just like anybody else, but if you're gonna resell things from the units, look for scratch marks on the arms and the legs of furniture. Look for hair. That makes it extremely difficult to resell to somebody. They want something in lightly or gently used condition, if not like new. So typically we stay away from anything that has a smell, which is important as well. Get a good whiff of that unit. And if it smells like dirty dog, walk away. Start them along, put me in a money, please, and I counter to go. Start them along, what do you say about 100 in a middle crowd, woman 100? 100 all the time, woman 100 in a middle crowd, woman 100, get $50 on its roll. Hey, we get $50 in a middle crowd, woman 50, yeah. get 50 here, 75. See I get 50 happens. here, we get 75, middle crowd, woman 75, and I counter to middle crowd, woman 75, 50 here, and 75, $60 quick. 50, 60. 60, yeah. 70, yeah. 70, yeah. 80, yeah. 80, 80, 90, now 100, I'm middle crowd, woman 100, middle crowd, woman 100. I got 90 here, 100 all middle crowd, woman 100, and I counter to go give 100. Yeah. Yeah. 100, 100 here, 110, one dime, 120, in middle crowd, 120, yeah. 40. I've been 120. Chart. 130. I've been 120 here, 130 on our middle crowd, 130, 120, 130, 140, 140. Your man's out, Johnny. We'll 140. I've been in. 130, 140. Your middle crowd, 140. I'm not going to go to the middle crowd, 40. 130, 140. Middle crowd, 140. 130, 140. Wrong time of the crowd, year to actually sell it. One more time. 130, 140. All in, all done. 140. Yes or yes. 130, 140. In middle crowd, 140. In middle crowd, 140. 130, 140. Once. 130, 140 twice, my third and final call, 130, 140, and I sold it to you, $130, number 61. six, 61's the buyer. This one is packed with wood, building supplies, metal poles, weed whackers, look at this, look at this reclaimed wood, termites, but how cool does that look? Okay, right, everybody an opportunity to look. Keep in mind when buying, usually the bigger units go cheaper or there's more profit on your investment because most people don't have the space. They don't have storage to take all of that stuff. And that's the cool thing about storage units. You can just go ahead and re-rent that unit 95% of the time. So sell from there if you can win the unit. Remember, bigger units, more profit because of more items normally all right hey start them along start it start let you start it how much hey put me in the money please and i kind of to give start them along what do you say about 200 hey if we get 200 i'm gonna grab one with you give 100 100 all to buy there's money 100, to be made in there but not the money that we're looking for we're more selective than that yep $7,500. We want collectibles for eBay. This is somebody who is doing reclaiming, building, repurposing. This one will go cheaper because most people can't afford to actually haul this much. They don't have the storage space and they don't have a trailer. Time ninety dollars, yes or yes. Ninety here, one more crowd, one hundred ninety, eighty here, ninety dollars, all in, all done. Ninety dollars, did you say it? Hundred dollars. You know, Tom, it's funny. The smaller ones went for higher money. I know, Scott. I'll I don't tell get you what. That. You can see right here what's there. Yeah. I've been eighty here, ninety dollars. Eighty here, ninety dollars, all in, all done. Ninety dollars, one more time, yes or yes, and I sold it to you. Eighty dollars, number fire seven. Number 70. Number 70 is the burglar. I mean the buyer. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate your, right, your attendance here. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. This is what happens when you're on an all-day auction run and your Egyptian beauty has a bottomless pit. You got to refuel. Round one and a half. And this never ends. It goes every two to three hours. Again... And again, and again. Is there a problem? No, baby. Not at all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's got a good knife.